video tutorial. Myself, Dr. Manoj Singh Shekhawat, Assistant Professor, Government Engineering College, Bikan. Today, I will demonstrate how to generate and visualize molecular orbitals using Orca and Avogadro software. So, before doing this, we should have some basic knowledge about the uh, molecular orbital theory. So you can say there are basically two types of theory available. One is the valence bond theory and other is the molecular orbital theory. So one approach to understanding the electronic structure of molecules is called molecular orbital theory. MO theory was first given by the RS Mulliken to explain the nature of bonding in the molecules of covalent compounds. So this MO theory assumes that the valence electrons of the atom within a molecule become the valence electron of the entire molecule. So before overlapping the atomic orbitals, they are electrons are individually assigned to their parent nuclei. But when they form the molecular orbitals, now the valence electrons are the valence electrons of the entire molecule. So molecular orbitals are constructed by taking linear combinations of the valence orbitals of atoms within the molecules. So the basic idea for uh, construction of the molecular orbitals are by taking the linear combinations of the valence electrons, valence orbitals of atoms within the molecules. So first let's see how they are linearly combined to form the molecular orbitals. So the most common approach to approximating molecular orbitals is the linear combination of atomic orbitals method in, in which method you can write the wave function psi n by the summation of psi i and multiplied by a coefficient c n. So in expanded form you can write c n 1 phi 1, c n 2 phi 2 like that. So phi's are the valence atomic orbitals of the atoms that make up the molecules. And C's are basically weighting coefficient that tell how much of each atomic orbital is in the molecular orbital. So by this way you can construct the molecular orbitals. So for getting the molecular orbitals using this linear combination of atomic orbitals. So the atomic orbitals uh, have some necessary conditions. So three conditions must be meet for the AOs to interact and form molecular orbitals. The first one is that the atomic orbitals must have the same symmetry or they have the appropriate symmetry. Then the atomic orbitals must have similar energy or equal energy. So there are two options. One is the equal energy. Like if you are talking about the diatomic molecule hydrogen, so both the hydrogen atom will have the equal energy levels. But in the case of CO molecule like carbon and oxygen, then in that case they have similar energy levels. So for making the uh, molecular orbitals, the AO must have similar energy and the AO atomic orbitals must have spatial overlap. Otherwise, you will not get the molecular orbitals. Now, we have some uh, basic uh, quantum mechanics part here. Uh, suppose we have two atoms A and B, each carrying a single atomic orbital uh, phi 1 and phi 2. So, we are having basically two atoms A and B and each carrying a single atomic orbitals like you can take the example of the hydrogen which has only one s electron so that is a single atomic orbital so 
if these two atoms will linearly combine then you will get the psi equals to c1 pi1 plus c2 pi2 so this is the wave function psi is basically getting by the linear combination of these two uh, atomic orbitals that is the phi1 and phi2 as from our quantum mechanics knowledge we can some say about wave function psi so wave function psi is basically a complex quantity and it don't have any physical significance but as you know from the de broglie waves that every matter particle should always have a metal matter waves and that waves has the wavelength so you can associate a wave function with a particle so suppose here you are having the two atoms with 1s electrons in the case of hydrogen then these 1s electron will behave as particle as well as wave and these wave will have a function that is suppose phi1 and phi2 so when you will square the wave function then this square will be the real quantity since wave function phi1 or phi2 may be a complex quantity and will have a real and integer imaginary parts but when you will square the wave function then you got psi square equals to c1 phi1 plus c2 phi2 whole square and after solving this you will get c1 square phi1 square plus c2 square phi2 square plus 2 c1 c2 phi1 phi2 now psi square is basically telling us the probability at any point at any time if suppose we integrate this psi square for the entire volume then it will represent the probability of finding the particle in that volume so if you integrate this psi square d tau then the first term that is the phi 1 square d tau from here it will show the probability of finding the electron close to atom a similarly the second term will represent the probability of finding the electron close to atom b and the last this term basically represent the overlapping term so uh, we have already said that the atomic orbitals should overlap to form the molecular orbitals so this third term is basically representing the overlapping term so in the molecular orbital theory we have some rules that the atomic orbitals of nearly equal energy and appropriate symmetry combine to give equal number of molecular orbitals so the number of atomic orbitals and the number of molecular orbitals will always same now molecular orbitals of lower energy is called bonding molecular orbitals while that of higher energy as anti bonding molecular or suppose we have two atomic orbitals one atomic orbital is given by psi 1 and other atomic orbital is given by psi 2 so when these two atomic orbitals atomic orbital and this is also the atomic orbital when these two orbitals will combine linearly and will form two molecular orbitals one molecular orbital has lower energy while that other molecular orbital will have higher energy so there are two types of molecular orbitals we will get from these combination one is that has the higher energy that can be written by the psi a and this is basically known as anti bonding molecular orbitals while 
the molecular orbital which has lower energy that can be given by the psi b and this is known as the bonding molecular orbitals so these uh, molecular orbitals are in the order of increasing energy so energy is here increasing let us discuss the uh, molecular orbital energy diagram of hydrogen here you are having two atomic orbitals of the hydrogen atom so one is this one and second is this one these two atomic orbitals combine to form two molecular orbitals sigma 1s or sigma 1s star so sigma 1s is basically the bonding molecular orbital and sigma 1s star is basically the anti bonding molecular orbital so you can simply write by the equation so hydrogen one atom is having 1s other atom is also having 1s and they will combine to form hydrogen molecule and these two electrons will go to the sigma 1s molecular orbital now this is the uh, molecular orbital energy diagram of the hydrogen molecule where you are getting there are two atomic orbitals and there are two molecular orbitals so you can also determine here the bond order so the bond order is simply uh, given by the formula so you can write formula here so the bond order equals to number of bonding electrons minus number of anti bonding electrons by 2 so in this case we are having two bonding electrons and zero anti bonding electrons so the bond order of this hydrogen molecule will be 2 minus 0 by 2 equals to 1 so here bond order can decide the stability of the atom since the stability of atom is directly proportional to the bond order so if the bond order is higher than 0 that means molecule is stable and if the bond order is less than 0 then the molecule is unstable and the bond length is inversely proportional to the bond order there is a relation between bond length so you can write the relation bond length is inversely proportional to bond order so if any molecule is having higher bond order that means the bond length will be lesser now next we are considering the nitrogen molecule as we know that nitrogen is having seven electron so the electronic configuration of the nitrogen is basically 1s2 2s2 then 2p3 so suppose we are having two nitrogen molecule uh, atoms so this is the nitrogen atom suppose and this is the nitrogen atom so both nitrogen atom will have seven electron so you can fill them like this 1 2 3 4 then 5 and 6 and then 7 these seven electrons are a first nitrogen molecule like this similarly you have for the second also 1 then 3 4 5 6 and 7 so there are total 7 plus 7 14 electrons so you need to fill these 14 electrons in the molecular orbitals so first first two electrons will goes to the sigma 1s then 3 4 will go to the sigma star 1s then again sigma 2s then sigma star 2s and the remaining six electrons first will fill the pi bond that is pi 2px then pi 2py so first one electron go then second then 
third and then fourth and the last two electron will go to the sigma 2p z. So you can uh, write the configuration of the N2 molecule in the increasing order. So you can write simply sigma 1s2 then sigma 1s2 star then sigma 2s2 then sigma 2s2 star so these are the eight electrons completed now the remaining six will go to the then pi 2p x equals to pi 2p y two two electrons and the last two electrons will go to the sigma 2p z so this is the molecular configuration for the nitrogen now here you can also decide the bond order so the bond order will be number of bonding electrons and number of anti bonding electrons so here 2 plus 2 and 2 then 2 and 2 they will cancel out each other so there is no need to consider them so here 2 then 2 then 2 6 are bonding electrons so you can write here 6 and anti bonding molecular orbitals are vacant so you can write 6 minus 0 by 2 so the bond order for the nitrogen will be 3 so we have now seen that how the molecular orbitals are forming by combining the atomic orbit. Now we will generate and visualize these molecular orbitals using the Avogadro and Orca software. First we will open the Avogadro software and go to the drawing tool and select hydrogen from drop down menu and click in the blank screen and drag this one so you got the hydrogen molecule so first we will auto optimize this hydrogen molecule by using the auto optimization tool so start auto optimization and you got the optimized hydrogen molecule don't forget to stop this auto optimization tool now we will generate the orca input file for this hydrogen molecule and after that we will uh, visualize uh, the hydrogen molecules so first go to the extension menu and click on the orca generate orca input always try to write the comment so this is a good habit so i am writing here molecular orbital of hydrogen now in the calculation you need to select the geometry optimization we will use the restricted hartree fock method here for obtaining the molecular orbitals of the hydrogen and the basis set we will use the sto minus 3g so sto minus 3g basis sets are basically minimal basis set where the three primitive gaussian orbitals are fitted to a single slatter type orbitals so for replacing this basis set first mark this one and type sto minus 3g so before generating this orca input file first go to the orca input library so i am opening in google orca input library and go to this site now here you can see the visualization and printing option when you open this link the first software that orca is suggesting that is the chemcraft 
कैमक्राफ्ट इज ए गुड मोलिकुलर बिल्डर कैन क्रिएट और का इनपुट फाइल एंड बट द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट दिस कैमक्राफ्ट इज ए पैड सॉफ्टवेयर एंड द सेकेंड चॉइस फॉर द और का इज द एवगेड्रो एंड दिस इज द फ्री वर्जन टू गुड मोलिकुलर बिल्डर सो इन प्रिंटिंग एंड विजुअलाइजेशन प्रेफरेंसेज go to the general printing keywords so here you can see that the default printing settings in orca is the small print so if you write nothing in the orca input file then default mode is the small print and it will print some basis set information scf settings then minimal mulliken loading and mere population analysis if you want to print the molecular orbitals then the option is the normal print so the normal print option will in addition to a small print print a loading orbital analysis useful to analyze the molecular orbitals and more detailed scf iteration output so we will modify our orca input file by using this normal print in our input file so i am typing this so exclamation mark then type normal print press enter then percent sign output then press enter type print then bracket p underscore basis close bracket option is 2 then again print p underscore mos and close it and this is option 1 and the finally and this block so these extra line will print the molecular orbitals now you can generate the orca input file so generate so let us uh, first we create a folder on our desktop new folder that is the hydrogen molecule then open this and save the file with the name of h2 we have saved our file now close this or can put file and also the this file close this one don't save it discard now go to the command prompt menu so open this command prompt first move to the directory so go to the first desktop then see the list of directory so s2 directory is now available here so go to this directory cd then s2 again see the list of files and s2 input file is available now call the orca typing orca then space then h2 dot imp space then sign then give the name of output file that is h2 dot out now press the return key it will start the processing of the orca input file so wait for the cursor now cursor is blinking yeah it is now completed so let us first check go to the folder yeah here you can see the list of file created by the orca now we will open this file with the help of the avogadro so go to the avogadro then go to the file menu 
and open select the folder you created now select the output file that is the h2 and open this file yeah here two molecular orbitals are created so one is homo and other is the lumo homo that is the highest occupied molecular orbital lumo that is lowest unoccupied molecular orbital so you have seen in the theory part that the two hydrogen atoms contributing one s atomic orbital and will form two molecular orbitals sigma 1s and sigma 1s star so first let's see the homo so this is the homo where you are getting the electron density uh, between two nuclei is the highest since the wave function psi 1 and psi 2 interfer constructively with each other so the resultant is the higher value so you can go to the navigation tool and visualize this so this is the first molecular orbital now go to the lumo and this is the second one this is the anti bonding molecular orbital and homo is the bonding molecular orbital so you can visualize these two like this so by this way you have created the or generated the molecular orbital with the help of the orca and you can visualize these molecular orbitals by the help of the Avogadro. So now we can try one another example. So first close this one without saying. Now we can go to the drawing tool and select the nitrogen from here. So this is the nitrogen. Then drag this nitrogen. Now we know that nitrogen has triple bond as we have discussed in theory. The bond order is the 3. So click on this bond once and twice. So this bond will now convert to the triple bond. We can see by this navigation tool. Yeah, this is having the triple bond. So first we will opto optimize this nitrogen molecule. So click on the auto optimization tool and start auto optimization and see that DE equals to zero. That means molecule is now geometry optimized and stop this auto optimization tool. Again go to the extension menu and click on the generate orca input file. Now we are going to uh, write the in orca input file for the nitrogen molecule. So change here hydrogen to nitrogen and again change the basis set to STO minus 3G. Now again insert the input pre uh, output preferences. So type the exclamation mark normal print then percent sign output print p underscore basis to then print p underscore emos one and the last line is the end so our orca input file is ready so click on the generate 
and now I, it's good to create a different folder we create a new folder here with the name of n2 and open this folder and save the input file with the name of n2 again close this one close discard now again we will first go to the command prompt come out from the directory and go to the new form directory that is the n2 now call the orca command so type orca then n2 dot inp space space then n2 dot out so this is the command for orca now press the return key and wait for the files to be yeah calculation is now completed now go to the directory n2 and see the files are there yes files are there so open the output file by double click it will open in the notepad first check in the last of the file whether this created successfully or not so orca terminated normally that means our calculation as are correct now we are going to the starting of this file and look for the basis set so this is our input file we have given so this is the basis set statics and startup info here you can see the number of contacted basis function is the 10 so 5 from each nitrogen 5 that means 1s then 2s and then 3p the number of contacted cells is the 6 and number of primitive gaussian functions so if there are 10 10 contacted basis function and each basis function is basically giving the three primitive Gaussian functions. So the total number of primitive Gaussian functions will be 30. So this is the basis set statics and startup info. Now we will open this file with the help of Avogadro and visualize the molecular orbitals. Now go to the file then click on open and go to the directory the desktop the nitrogen and select this output file yeah so now from this list you can see the number of molecular orbitals with their energies one two three four five six seven these are the homo and rest three are basically the lumo so in the diagram energy molecular orbital energy diagram you have already seen that there are three unoccupied orbitals and seven orbitals are the occupied so you can see them by clicking individually that is a three four five six seven so you can visualize them by using the navigation tool this is the third this is the fourth then this is the fifth these all are basically the 1s and 2s uh, atomic orbitals combined to form molecular orbitals this one also and the last three is the three lumo so basically they are forming with the help of pi bonds 
so i think you have visualized all the molecules you can increase the size of this now you can visualize very easily so i think you have got the idea how to generate and visualize molecular orbitals using the orca and using the avogadro you can try other molecules like oxygen carbon or helium by using this way thank you for watching this tutorial